everyone. Today I'm going to show a very quick tutorial on how to apply my body mods. Uh, these are different from the Joma ones in that this one's made to be compatible with mesh bodies and with the uh, happy paws head. So real quickly, right now I look like a mess because I'm wearing everything straight out of the box. So here right now I'm wearing the Belize Isis body, but you can wear whichever one you want. There is a an applier in there specifically for the Belize bodies, but you don't have to use that one. There's also an Omega applier. So if you like to use the Maitreya or the Slink, it doesn't matter which one, you can use your favorite body. Um, another important one piece that you'll need to have is going to be the Happy Paws Fox Head. Uh, that, that and the mesh body is really what's the two main <laughs> ingredients that you're going to need. Um, here I'm wearing this straight out of the box. Uh, I've got the regular fox ears on, but I also have textures for the fennec ears, which I'll show you in a bit. Um, you're also going to want to wear the neck piece. Now there's a neck piece for the female body, which is the one that I'm wearing right now. There's also a male body neck, neck piece. Now I do have an applier for the male bodies. It's an Omega applier to work on whichever male body you have, be it the Belize Jake or maybe the uh, Signature Gianni. Um, if it's Omega, Omega compatible, it'll work. Uh, so here's some of the pieces that I use and I do recommend is uh, the Cat's Eye uh, Furry Paws, we'll fix that here in a bit, and the uh, Cat's Eye Dainty Paws or the Cat's Eye Digi Paws, I'll show both of them. And then there is the Bento Vixen Tail, and those are going to be what you need. So now that, we're, now that we've gone through that, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, make sure that you have everything on. Um, we're going to go ahead and adjust a few things on the body. So one of the first things, which I've actually already done, is turned off the uh, hands. Um, if your hands are separate, then that makes things easy. You don't have to do this step. Uh, same with the feet. You're just going to want to have those turned off. Um, so now that we've done that, we're going to need to go to shape. And this is only for the Belize body. If you're wearing one of the other bodies, then you don't have to worry about that. Uh, I believe that they're already fitted for it. But we're going to need to fix this here on the arm. So we're going to go here to the arms and just choose slink fit. And now we're good to get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to start applying the textures. So from here, I'm going to want to go to the You'll be able to unpack it. It'll be named differently. I'm still setting everything up. Um, but what you're going to want to do is go and choose one of the body textures. In this case, since I'm wearing the Beliza body, I'm going to put the one that says Beliza on. Now you'll see that there's two options here. Let me get those into view for you. Now you'll see that there's two buttons here. So applying this is going to be very easy. First thing you're going to do is take body texture and click that one. And now it's applied the body texture. Now the next one is a nipple texture. Now if you click on that, then it'll apply the nipples, something that you'd see easier if I wasn't wearing a bra, but it does that for good blending. So now the body texture has been applied. So we'll go ahead and take that one off. The next step we're gonna need to do is take the Omega applier and put that one on. Now this one's just a one click button, click here to apply, and we're doing that for the hands and for the feet. So now that we've gotten that one applied, we're going to go ahead and take that off. Now, obviously, if you were wearing another body, then you would want to put that on regardless. Uh, make sure you're wearing your Omega Relay. So the next step here is going to be to take the head one. Now, for the Fennec, there's only really one. For the marbled ones, just for fun, I kind of added two head ones, but we're going to go ahead and just take the uh, dark nose one, since that's what most of them are going to use. So here you'll see uh, that it's got its own applier. You just click on that. Now there's a few options I've included here. The main one will be the head left and the head right. And in here, you'll notice that you know the mouth is pretty orange on the uh, Happy Paws head. It's not really my thing, so I actually went ahead and included a texture for the tongue, the mouth, and the teeth. Now those, what they'll do is, if you go inside the head, uh, you'll notice that they're actually a different color, and I actually prefer this color, but that part is completely optional. If you happen to have the fluffy cheeks, and the head texture will also 
go ahead and texture them. So next what we're going to need to do is take the ears and we're going to need to texture these. Now there's not really an applier for the ears so what we're going to need to do is take them off and we're going to need to res them on the ground. Now this process is going to be very easy. You're just going to right click, edit. You'll see a texture box right here. So now we're going to grab the fox ear texture, click and drag. And that's as easy as that. Now, if we were going to do this for the fennec ears, it's pretty much the same process. And you actually want to do this very specifically because the fennec ears actually have a lot of faces to them. So we're going to right click, edit. And thankfully, don't mind what that says right there. Um, this is actually a very easy one step process. So we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to take the ones called fennec ears, click and drag them. And now, we're going to ignore that. Now those are textured. So we can go ahead and pick those up. So now coming back here, you can see that I'm wearing the regular fox ears here. But if I were to go in and remove these fox ears, I could actually go ahead and wear the fennec ears instead. And the good thing about doing it this way is one, you need to do that to apply the textures anyways, but it also allows you to have copies. Whenever you're making a texture for anything, or whenever you're texturing something, I can't stress more, always, always, always have copies. Don't ever want to mess up your original. So everyone has their own method of setting this up. I do my own folders thing, but make sure you're always wearing a copy so that if you mess up for any reason, you always have an original to go back to. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and just wear the fox ears for this one because this one's not a fennec mod like my other one is. Um, but you have the option should you choose. Okay, so the next step we're gonna do is we're going to tackle the hands. So they've already been partially textured and it's not as easy to see on this one because it's white and there's a tail in the way. <laughs> but um, there's actually a finger texture that I've included as well as a paw pad texture. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to put on the HUD for the furry paws. Now the reason why I'm putting on the HUD here is because there's a few things in here that I want to do. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go to the nails tab here and there's a whole host of pre-loaded you know, loaded nail textures. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the black ones because I wanna have black nails. If you wanna have them white, you can leave them white. Um, you can have them colored if you wanna have painted nails. That's completely up to you. The next thing I'm gonna do is go to this eye. Now this is, if you're like me, you just kinda wanna show off your hands, then what you can do is go to the glove part right here to show and hide, and now they're gone. Um, if you want to have the gloves there, you're more than welcome to. I mean, that's completely up to you. They are Omega compatible. So you can apply gloves as you see fit. Now, from here, we don't really need these. Um, for this one, you could actually leave the paws white if you wanted to. You don't really need to. However, I have included my own texture as well. So what I'm going to do is go to here, and there's actually a cat's eye HUD right here that's going to apply for both these and the dainty paws. So I'm going to take the furry hands one and click. And now it's going to apply the texture. Now like I said, it's going to be a subtle change for this one because you know they're already fairly white, um, but the paws have actually been darkened. Now if you don't want those colors, you don't have to. There's a lot of really nice options included with the HUD that comes with these hands, but it gives you the option if you don't want to do that. So next we're going to go down to the paws here, and it's going to be much the same process. You see, because the HUD's already similar, it's already applied the nails, but if you wanted to, you could actually open the HUD for that one, do the same thing. There's also a glove layer or a sock layer on that one, which you would make them invisible the same way you did with the hands. So now we're going to take the Dainty Paws tab, and we're going to click that. And now your paws have been textured. And you can't see it very well because it's underneath, but the bottom paws have also been textured. And similar with the hands, if you want to use the ones pre-made in the HUD, you can. Okay, the last step will be to texture the tail. So first thing I'm going to do is take that off and res it on the ground. 
And now this process is going to be very, very easy. So the first thing you want to do is edit it and make sure the color is set at white. The reason why you want to do that is because if it's tinted at all, it'll mess up the texture. From here, all you have to do is take the Vixen tail texture, click and drag to the texture box. And now your tail is textured. So you're going to pick that up. Let's go ahead and get rid of that one and put it on. And now you're good to go. Um, there's some wonderful HUDs out there for you to have your own eye textures if you would like to. Um, there's only one more step that we're going to do is these dainty paws. I'm actually going to go ahead and take them off and I'm going to put on some different paws. So I'm going to actually go ahead and put on the digi paws. Now there's going to be a few things you're going to need to do here. Let's put the Belize HUD back on. Um, the dainty paws just does come with some with different options and let me go ahead and remove my foot height. So I'm going to go to the HUD and I'm going to go to the alpha tab. I'm going to turn off my feet and I'm going to turn off my lower legs and just a few more options to get it as close. There we go. So that you don't see any of these seams poking through. And now what I'm going to do is go to uh, the HUD right here for the dainty paws. Not the dainty paws, sorry. So once you have the HUD on, you'll notice there's a few more options here and you can play with these as much as you would like. I'm going to keep it simple. So I'm going to go to the claws tab and you'll see much the same sort of colors as you would have for the hands and for the dainty paws. And I'm just going to go black ones, you know, keeping things simple here. And now there's also a layer over here. Um, there's a few things you can mess with here, but these ones don't actually have the uh, socks. So you don't really have to worry about much else from here unless you want to. So we're going to go ahead and take that off. So the next thing is there's going to actually be a plier called Digi Legs. Now these Digi Legs, there's ones that will fit the male and they will fit the female. Same as with the paws. Make sure you buy the ones that are labeled for your type. Are you male? Are you female? Because for the hands in particular, they'll be very thick. There'll be a thickness difference. Um, with the legs, I believe that they include... Um, all of them in just the main digi legs, so you should be fine. Um, but these are the cat's eye digi legs. Make sure you get the right ones. They will be linked in the marketplace ad. So you can put the HUD on and just click digi pause. And that's all there is to it. Now they've been applied, and I do try and make things as seamless as possible. There are some lighting where that you go to where it may show um, something weird around here. Um, you know, SL isn't perfect. Let me go to midday and see if that does it. Oh no. Okay, that so this one's fine. But uh, if I was to go to my ultimate settings with the uh, atmospheric shaders, then you'll notice that sometimes it's a little bit weird depending on your lighting type. Um, I usually stick to a uh, Cal WL myself, it's just a personal preference. But you'll notice that as the lighting changes with more settings on, um, sometimes things get a little bit weird. There's not really much I can do about that. I did try. Um, I usually don't have these on unless I'm taking nice pictures anyways, but that's all completely up to you. Um, it's about as seamless as it can get. Uh, so you can always, you know, maybe put on a skirt or something to help with that. But that's all there is to it. That's how you apply the, my textures. And from there, you know, you can customize it however you would like. Um, this is going to be the same with any of the body textures that are made for the mesh body or for any of the happy paws heads. Um, it's going to be much the same process. Um, I may add textures for other parts, such as um, the Feety Peets, the Apricot Fall ones in the future. Can't say for certain what's going to happen. Anyways, thank you so much for your time, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Goodbye.